In this video, I will show you how to perform certain basic tasks of macro dynamics or static simulations using interactive interface with MACE interactive make potential. Uh, to do that, we need to first compile the Streamlit application and you can get to it if you write this link and then you can follow the tutorial how to compile the app here. Uh, if you want to calculate on GPU, you also need to compile uh, CUDA. So let's uh, let's see how this works. Uh, I already compiled it before, so you would follow the steps. First download the code, and then go to this folder, then create virtual uh, environment to prevent any conflict between possible conflicts between different Python packages and uh, then you will activate environment and install all the necessary Python packages which are mentioned in the requirement file and then you can run the application. So I did all that and I can run the application now. Uh, if I ever do certain changes in the code I can update this application if I just write git pull. Yeah. So, okay, and now I can start it with, with this command. And it's available on this localhost address. So if I go here, refresh this sign, the application should start um, in any second. Okay. And now it's loaded. So uh, currently there are three maze uh, models: small, medium, large for MPO, MP0. And I can select if I want to calculate on a CPU, a single core, or on a GPU. So I will use the GPU. That is much faster. And to start, I need to first upload my uh, structure files. And uh, this calculator runs in batch, so I can upload multiple structures and they will be all calculated one by one automatically. Okay, well, so let me put some example uh, structures here. So, for instance, alpha, beta titanium, and uh, strontium titanate. It supports multiple formats. You can upload SIF, Postcard, XYZ with Lattice, etc. And after I upload the structure here, I, structures here, I need to accept them and uh, lock them. Uh, this lock is important because when the calculations will be running, the interface will be uh, refresh. So, like the calcul calculation console is updated every time. And to prevent like non-loading the structures again during these refresh refreshes, it's better to to lock them here. So uh, if I want, I can preview the structures, see their initial lattice parameters, elements, and uh, the visualization, and then I can uh, select the calculation task. So currently there are available four options. You can calculate just the single point energies. You can do uh, geometry optimization with uh, different parameters. So you can either optimize just the atomic positions or just the uh, unit cell or both. And if you use like these two options, you can select if you want to optimize all three lattice parameters and if you want to fix angles of the cells or uh, don't fix them and also if you want uh, if you can preserve the shape of the cell during the cell optimization and you can calculate phonons and uh, elastic properties so if i quickly just use this energy single point calculations and uh, also you can automatically calculate the atomization energy or the formation energy, which, is, which doesn't, uh, it's very quick, so I can just have it checked. 
and yeah, I can I can directly start the calculations and to observe how the run is going. I can click on the con calculation console, and when it's finished, it's the site is refresh, and I can see the results in this section. So currently, uh, I just did the energies, so there are no information about the geometry, elastic properties, phonons, and there is a computation time. So how long each structure took to calculate the total calculation time, and also I can see like how much time each structure took, and basically what was the fastest calculation and the slowest calculation. Okay, and the energies calculated the total energy, so you can see it here. The green bar is always the structure with the lowest energy, and next to it is the formation energy. So again, green bar is the lowest formation energy, and I can also directly compare like relative energies to the lowest energy state, which is the, like a zero value, and if I want, I can export the data directly from this table. And I can also overview like this information in the, in the structure of the view cards, uh, basically for a better visualization or readability. And it's, it's ordered according to the formation energy. So uh, on the left is always the lowest state, and on the right is the highest formation energy state. So this is one option. Um, another option is the geometry optimization. So uh, let me optimize basically everything and just fix the angles. I will start the calculation. And uh, it's running, which you can see here. And if you go to the console, you can see <coughs> the current information because my structures are almost at the like the, uh, the lowest energy state it was very quick and they have just few atoms so if i go now to the results um, i can see how each um, basically lattice parameters lattice parameter change to the initial unoptimized uh, structure and for each structure, uh, for each yeah, for each structure file, and also I can directly see like the vo the how ch the volume, the volume change compared to the initial state. Uh, then I can download the optimized structure in Postcard, or I can download all of them at once. And again, uh, the overview information about the final lattice parameters, uh, the initial ones are available in this um, in this table okay so now let's go to the third option which is the which is the phonon calculation i will use this settings start the calculation and this will take probably a little bit a little more time but anyway it should be kind of quick you can see one is already finished, second is also finished, and now we are waiting for the third structure. Okay, it's done. Let's see results, elastic pro, uh, phonons, and yeah, I can see directly here the phonon dispersion curve, the density of states. Uh, then uh, I have here some imaginary modes suggesting this structure is unstable. If I go, I can go to alpha titanium, beta titanium. And uh, I can calculate temperature dependent properties. So I can obtain like basically the entropy depending on temperature, free energy depending on temperature, or the heat capacity. Uh, then, yeah, I can uh, compare different temperatures directly if I want in this table. Uh, there is option to do phase analysis, but this is currently disabled still. 
in development and then I can uh, compare like the, the considered structures regarding their imaginary the number of imaginary modes okay and all of these are interactive graphs so if I want I can just uh, expand them and zoom and the data are of also available if you download the JSON file okay again this this is always updated this computation time so the last option that I have here is the calculation of elastic properties so let's start that one and let's see this should be also quick it will finish it will finish very soon uh -huh. okay it's done results elastic properties and i have here all the information about the elastic tensor about uh, bulk moduli i have it here in uh, more details in the, uh, basically in the cards for better visibility or i can change this to tape on and it also just suggests directly if the crystal is stable or not depending on the uh, elastic tensor values and uh, yep then there is a table comparing bulk modulus, bulk modulus or like all of these elastic properties uh, between different structures and also comparing elastic constants between different structures and for um, just the visualization there is a comparison between uh, different structures in terms of bulk modulus and shear modulus and also uh, density, atomic density comparison Oh, sorry, this is like a total density for grams, gram per uh, cubic centimeter. Okay, so, and yeah, if I want to see uh, these details, I can, see for, for current structure, I can change it here. So I can see how, how the value how the values are um, so that is all and last thing is that is this optimization optimization trajectories and convention convention step so here uh, I can uh, okay here should be graph showing the convergence and okay, I need to update that it disappeared but uh, yeah, I can basically download, if I do the geometry optimization, I can download here uh, the trajectory of the optimized structure, how the atomic positions or the particle parameters are changing over optimization step. Actually, let me do this geometry optimization very quickly again. I just want to see if the graph will appear here. So if I go, yeah, so for this it, it looks fine. Okay. So uh, this is all what this uh, application currently does. And uh, I hope it will be useful to also some of you either for just the educational purposes or you can perform certain like even bigger simulations here for uh, larger structures and yeah, thank you for your attention.